recently I uh, sometimes when I run out of my, my current TV shows I go back and I watch old shows so I was recently watching Kung Fu the TV show starring David Carradine and you know, I remember watching it as a kid, and I, you know, I'm very nostalgic to it because of the kung fu and, and all of that kind of stuff that was in it. Um, it was a real good TV show, but I found it interesting um, as I've been rewatching it lately. The the theme or the the the, the creators of kung fu, which is a bunch of white people, how they portrayed themselves. And the setting of Kung Fu with David Carradine was in um, the, you know, the, the Wild West or the frontier, you know, sometime after the Louisiana Purchase when all the land was given away and, uh, and uh, the whites were moving out into the Midwest and battling the Native Americans and all of that. And uh, they had the Chinese um, building the railroad and all of that kind of stuff was going on. And... Just the, how they, the, what I found interesting is how they portrayed themselves during those times, which, with the, with the prejudice and the bigotry and all of that stuff, um, this is them telling their own story. And the sense of entitlement that the, these, these men have, um, and white, white men have, even white women had it, you know, a lot. It was displayed in them, too. Um, not all of them, but uh, but it was a running theme in uh, in most of the uh, most of the episodes where uh, Kwa Chang Kang was, you know, walking through the towns and facing the discrimination and the bigotry. And they really weren't sure what he was because he was supposed to be half Chinese and half white. But he still was running into it. Um, and, the, and the Native Americans was constantly running into it. Um, there was even an episode with a black man from Brazil. He ran into some of it too. Um, but the same attitude <laughs> they have today. And it's funny how I don't really realize what they realize that they that they intentionally were recording that aspect of their lives. But there it is, historical record, right there. Not only did somebody write it, the actors acted it. And it was supposed to be an accurate portrayal of life at the frontier in America. And that, those same attitudes of prejudice and entitlement and privilege still exist today. It's the same exact shit. And... I find it funny when I, you know, especially watching the news and and social media, you know, how white people today want to pretend that, oh, this is so long ago and, oh, that, that's not really how it was. There it is in their own historical document. Audiovisual. It's not written word where somebody else can interpret it. This is them interpreting themselves portraying themselves and I encourage any of you um, particularly the white people if you don't believe me go back and watch it go back and watch your own shows forget your own literature and religions dogma and things of that nature go watch your own TV shows like Bonanza and not so much in Bonanza but any of those historical Western movies with the frontier where you can see them interacting with other people. Um, fascinating. Fascinating. That wasn't black people portraying them that way. That wasn't Chinese people portraying them that way. And this went on for hundreds, and it's still going on today, for hundreds of years. Fascinating. Fascinating. That a TV show about Kung Fu could teach us so much about prejudice, bigotry, racism, things of that nature. It's so, so fascinating. I, I, I guess when I watched it when I was younger, I never paid attention to that aspect of it. 
but now I'm older and I'm more conscious of it, it just jumps out at you on every episode. Just jumps out. And I encourage anybody to, to watch it. It's a great TV show. No, don't, you know, make no mistake, even with the racist stuff in it. Because <clears throat> it's an underlining theme. It's not overtly in your face, you know, hey, this is what we was doing to y'all motherfuckers. No, it's not like that. It's very subtle and just part of the show. Just like, you know, like somebody drew scenery in the background. It's there. And sometimes it's a central theme of the episodes where Quacha and King got to overcome some kind of racism or bigotry or whatever. It's fascinating. It's fascinating. Watch it. Watch it.